My name is Eve Shea and I have retinitis pigmentosa. My name is Edward Glassman and uh, I have what's called a cone dystrophy. My name is Liz and I live with age-related macular degeneration. My name is Gavin Morrison and I have retinitis pigmentosa. My name is Shiny and I have retinitis pigmentosa. I was diagnosed at the age of 21. I was diagnosed with retinitis pigmentosa when I was five years old. Our daughter Olivia was five years old when she was diagnosed with retinitis pigmentosa. How I knew that there was something wrong with my vision, I would say be in a group of people and I would look and one half of the person's face was dark and the other was light. And I'd like, you know, what is this all about? In my family, this is an autosomal dominant gene, so half of my relatives have this, and so my parents figured it out pretty early. They tell me when I was about four or five, I started walking into things at dusk. I was in my mid-50s when I was originally diagnosed, but I didn't experience any of the symptoms until I was 70. Right now, over one million Canadians are living with blinding eye diseases. As vision fades, so too can hope. I can't imagine getting a diagnosis like this out of the blue. It's tough being diagnosed with uh, vision loss when you're 70 years old. You know, you've lived a long life uh, with vision, good vision, and suddenly you don't have that anymore, so you have to make a lot of adjustments. As a parent, you never get over the impact of understanding that your daughter is going to face her future with vision loss. Vision loss is hard to deal with in our very, very visually oriented world. To date, donors of the Foundation Fighting Blindness have contributed more than $32 million for vision research. With your ongoing support, we will continue to fight back. Developing safe and effective treatments for uh, vision loss is a uh, uh, you know, incredibly complex and difficult undertaking. But my God, the research that's supported by the foundation, I mean, stem cells right now and gene therapy, I mean, one of them, if not both, has to be the holy grail, right? It's a very exciting time. With all the breakthroughs that are happening right now in Canada with vision research, I think that those that have contributed to the FFB over the past decade or more can honestly say that they contributed to these breakthroughs and have backed and supported the research that is going to find a treatment or cure for blindness and I think that's nothing short of miraculous. This science, this research is very important, very worthwhile, but it's also very difficult and very expensive. To know that there's so many people out there who are willing to help and make a difference gives us hope that soon and one day we'll be able to hear the words, there is now a cure. So a heartfelt and a genuine thank you. I donate. I also volunteer. I get a lot of satisfaction out of knowing that I'm helping to advance the cause. I have to have some hope that there's a chance I could recover my vision. The prize is is still there. It, it's going to come, I think. People should support the foundation because it's fabulous and it really is all about hope and it really is an exciting time. Something big is going to break through. I can just tell. We can't do it without you. Together, we will cure blindness. <laughs>